my understanding with the EEZ that that does limit or can limit public participation. Uh, the code within economic expansion zone makes it very clear that the planning and zoning administrator has the discretion to call for neighborhood meetings. So the planning and zoning administrator may use discretion, so there's certainly, it's not an absolute by any means. What could be done to give more than a, you know, the, you know, the possibility that there could be public participation? One avenue is to amend the economic expansion zone. That makes it clear when you're adjoining adjoining a existing subdivision that a neighborhood meeting will be conducted. So it is no longer a discretionary item. And then one more thing about the public outreach process. Um, we're talking about neighborhood meetings or open houses. We're talking about notifying neighbors that their lots are going to be pre-graded. Please clarify for me what opportunity for real input or change the neighbors will have in those instances. So for the pre-grading, it would be more of a notification to let the neighbors know. They of course could contact staff for more information. But with regard to the public outreach requirements for those sites with 150 feet, um, we definitely took um, Council Member Rodman's um, uh, comment. Um, and so we will make sure that in the, if it's rather a neighborhood meeting or a public open house, that residents do have an opportunity to have their voices heard and um, can work with the applicant to make any mitigation changes to mitigate any um, concerns they may have. Okay, but would that be voluntary on the applicant's part? So, so okay. Vice Mayor Barry, yes, that is correct. So for these properties, they have, again, existing property rights. And so it would be an ask of the applicant to make changes to something they already have a legal right to, such, a, such as building height or an increased setback, for instance.